The holiday season means key non-conference matchups for most Big 12 teams, but Saturday, December 18th, we'll see a classic showdown at the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas, as Texas A&M will face off against Old Southwest Conference rival Arkansas, while Baylor is matched up with the Gonzaga Bulldogs. We wanted to get to Dallas and, and play here, play in the NBA arena, play on the same day with Baylor. It kind of gives it an NCAA environment. Um, which I think is important, a Big 12 tournament environment, which I think is important, uh, get you ready for the postseason. Uh, we wanted to get back to Dallas. We played SMU here last year and, and filled their building full uh, of Aggies. Uh, we'll have a great turnout uh, for the game. Uh, so I think all that's important. And then just, you know, just bringing our team to the, to the fans. And, and, uh, and, and then the obvious, uh, you know, obviously we, we recruit. Uh, this area and and uh, just to get our team up here and, and play in front of uh, a lot of different uh, people is going to be great for our program. Definitely I know we played up here two years ago and uh, it was great for Baylor Nation uh, a chance for uh, people in the Metroplex to not have to drive uh, down that hour and 10 minute drive to Waco. Uh, at the same time anytime players get a chance to play in an NBA arena it doesn't get any better than that for them because that's where they all strive to play someday. So uh, we're very excited about that. The other thing is, uh, obviously, when you're playing the type of competition uh, we're playing, uh, it's, a, it's a great day for the Big 12 Conference uh, with national TV, and it's a great day for our fans, but it's also a great day for college basketball. Baylor comes in ranked in the top 10 nationally, while A&M and Gonzaga both have received votes in the polls. Baylor's Quincy Acey and Perry Jones are first and third, respectively, in the Big 12 in rebounding, while both rank near the top of the Big 12 in scoring. Texas A&M's Chris Middleton is averaging almost 15 points per game, and teammate B.J. Holmes ranks in the top 10 in three-point field goal percentage, hitting almost 40% from beyond the arc. Coach Drew says fan enthusiasm for the showcase is quite high thanks to recent success and deep NCAA tournament runs for both the Aggies and the Bears. The more success each of our, uh, us three schools have, because we're geographically closer right here in the Big 12, but obviously uh, uh, Texas Tech's a little further away, the more success that we have, I think it just brings that much more notoriety and fan support. As we all know, fans like to cheer for, for programs that do well. And Coach Turgeon says if history is any indication, fans will enjoy the day. This, it's a great day for college basketball fans. I mean, what, what a great environment it's going to be and a fun environment. And we did this two years ago in Houston. We played Texas. Texas played uh, Michigan State, and we played LSU. And it was just a fun, fun day for college basketball fans. So I think it'll be the same. For Big12Sports.com, I'm Brian Mortensen.